Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, the Disney Afternoon Collection. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 30 minutes. Enjoy! I think it was around this time last year I made a video on the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now I'm looking over the Disney Afternoon Collection, six Capcom classics based around the screen and quality TV animation Disney was making in the late 80s, early 90s. I'm very familiar with two of the games of this collection, DuckTales and Rescue Rangers, as I played a lot of both when younger. I think I played Tailspin and Darkwing Duck once, and I wasn't even aware of DuckTales and Rescue Rangers having a sequel until years later. All the games are easily accessible, there's a ton of extras, and even a rewind mechanic, which I'll talk more about in a bit. It's another solid package. I have a few comments about some of the games. DuckTales is as fun as ever, and the Pogo Hop is a little more difficult than I remember it being. Games that took that mechanic and ran with it like Shovel Knight must have spoiled me. Rescue Rangers is one of the best co-op experiences I can remember on the NES, but it's still enjoyable single player. Crouching in a weapon you throw to defeat the enemy when they run into you never gets old, and I love the bosses. Tailspin has a neat reverse direction mechanic, but firing up and down diagonally is a little too finicky, and Darkwing Duck is a breath of fresh air. It's like Mega Man with a ledge grab, and the levels seem to be built around this mechanic, making for some really fun platforming. DuckTales 2 seems great. The levels feature more of the supporting cast, and seeking them out will give your moveset upgrades, such as the ability to pogo through stronger blocks. I didn't get to complete a level, but I wonder if the cache is used for anything. Maybe a further upgrade screen like in Tailspin. Rescue Rangers 2 on the other hand kind of left me cold. It was my least favorite out of everything I played. The first level is pretty uninspiring, the duck and cover trick doesn't really work that well anymore, and the first boss left me wanting. I did, however, like how the rat with the spoon will follow your throw back to you. So let's talk about the rewind mechanic. At any point in any game, you can hold the rewind button and like Braid, all your actions will be undone. I mainly use this in Tailspin trying to stop one-hit deaths and situations that overwhelm me, but it was a welcome addition in all the games. I also realized this is a feature that could be easily abused and so is not everyone's cup of tea. I will try and temper my excitement for wanting to play almost every game like this, so I will compromise and say maybe just all future NES collection releases should have this. Controversial, I know. Regardless, I loved having it here. Thanks for watching.